Hi, I'm Skyler. If you've ever put any sort of temporal media, like an audio recording or a video, into Aperture, you've probably noticed that it doesn't really have the tools that are required to work with that media. Um, and since slideshows are essentially movies, it doesn't have the capability to work with multiple themes. So let's say you create one slideshow using the uh, Vintage Prince theme and another one using the Ken Burns theme. There's no way to combine those two slideshows within Aperture. So how do we get around that? Well, here's one thing. So I've created a slideshow here using a few different prints. And I used the Vintage Prince theme on this one. My settings were pretty much default. Now, I exported this as a video and then brought it into iMovie. So here I've got that slideshow. And I'm just going to drag it into my project here. All right. So now I've got my timeline down here with that vintage prints theme. And I want to cut in some more photographs, but with a slightly different transition. So right here, I'll click on Photos to access my media browser. And now I'm looking at my Aperture library. Here you can see there's a disclosure triangle here. So I click it. And I'm going to head down here to this folder and scroll along till I see some images that I want to include in the slideshow. So I'll take this one, for example. And I'm going to drag it in here and let go. I'll elect to insert it. And I'm going to go find another image or two. I can drag this up so I can see a little bit more. And just drop these into the timeline wherever I want. You'll probably want to be more careful so that you line things up correctly. OK, so I've dropped those in. By default, they're set up in the Ken Burns theme. So actually, it is sort of a different transition or theme right off the bat. And they seem to intercut pretty well. So I could just play it like this. OK, not too bad. But let's change it up a little bit more. I click on my transitions and choose something really drastic, like uh, cross zoom. Drag that in here select it, and I'm going to change its duration a bit. So I'm going to drag it out, reposition it some. OK, and now there's a totally different type of transition. So this way, I can have a lot more control over exactly how images are placed and how they transition from one to another than I could ever do in Aperture. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler. Thank <laughs> you.